Halo Combat Evolved is one of the most beloved and best revered first person shooters of all time. Let's take a look at what the game has done, shall we? It launched with the original Xbox in 2001 and is honestly one of the best launch titles ever of all time. It showed that first person shooters can have great stories, voice acting, and characters. Yeah, there have been great first person shooters before. Uh, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Doom come to mind. But Halo really changed the whole scene with the way it was played. It laid forth the tracks for games like Call of Duty and Battlefield. Take that as a plus or a minus. I, I don't really know. Some Battlefield and some Call of Duty games are good, but nowadays they're both just kind of... Anyway, however, Halo Combat Evolve, the first Halo game, is it's still insanely popular to this day, and it's had many re-releases. It had a really shitty Gearbox software PC port in the early 2000s, then it was released on the Xbox 360, and then finally made its way to the Xbox One on the Master Chief Collection. And that's the version I'm going to be looking at today. Now, this Master Chief Collection version is a slightly altered version of the one we got in the 360. Meaning, it has some slight graphics boosts, but apart from that, it's basically the same thing. You can switch back and forth between the original graphics and stuff like that. For this gameplay, I'm going to be using the modern graphics, aka the one that we got in 2011 on the 360. And they're not the best looking things in the world, but for 2011, they're pretty good. Anyway, this is part one of my Halo Combat Evolved review. I'm doing two parts of this one. I'm doing a part just for the multiplayer and for the single player. This is obviously the single player campaign mode. Um, well, actually, you can, do, you can make it two player. But so, anyway, this is um, this is the campaign mode part. I'm doing a, a separate video on the multiplayer, both split screen and Xbox Live. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Halo Combat Evolved. There is a lot to talk about, not a whole ton of time to do it in. Anyway, yeah. So, remember, this is the remastered graphics setting. The one that we got in 2011 on the Xbox 360. Now, nowadays, in 2019, it doesn't hold up all that well. I mean, come on, this was eight years ago. But for what it is, it isn't horrible. Um, so yeah, this is essentially the same gameplay you would find on the 360 version with some minor differences, meaning that the controls a little bit more refined on the Xbox One version, which is a good thing, because the 360's controls for this game weren't exactly stellar, so now they're pretty clunky, pretty bad. And honestly, they've actually done a little bit of a reskin with Master Chief in this game, they've updated him a little bit, but um, mostly the same visual and control scheme you'd find on the 360 version. Now, one thing that always really interested me about this is that when you do graphical reskins of everything in a game, you tend to have some texture and collision problems. This game doesn't have a lot of big ones, but the small ones are really funny. So basically, this is just a skin over the original, well, content of the original game. So, some things are a little bit bigger in this version. Meaning you can shoot through the edges of some walls because the wall isn't there in the original coding of the game. Huh. Yeah, because it's not a complete retooling of the code, it's just basically a visual skin over the original Comet Evolved code in 2001. Just, as I said, slightly updated. Now, the controls. They are... not horrible. I remember the Xbox 360 had some really loose thumbsticks and a D-pad that is an absolute nightmare. Not as bad as the original Duke controller on the original Xbox, but still pretty bad. Um, but the controls for what they are are okay. I would prefer the control. I'm mean, also in Master Collection. You actually change the control scheme from what we call classic Halo, which makes no sense if anyone who started playing first person shooters in the early or in the early 2010s. Like I did. Like I start my my first real. Uh, Xbox FPS was in 2013, the first one I ever played was um, Halo 4. So, um, yeah, the, the, you can change the controls to be more modern and have, like, left uh, trigger being aimed down sights instead of it on the stick, or on one of the sticks, I think it's right or left stick, depending what setting you have, south or not. Anyway, yeah. Um, the sound engine has also been retooled slightly since the 360 version came out, and it is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Um, this game also keeps the original ammo counter for the, um, most of the weapons, including the, uh, well, as you can see here, the assault rifle. The common of all assault rifle has the fastest fire of any Halo assault rifle and the most ammo, being the most overpowered assault rifle in the game. <laughs> And yes, this keeps the original um, Halo Combat Evolved Magnum. Something I'll talk more about in the uh, multiplayer, but here, I can talk about a little bit here. Um, by the way, I'm only jumping around between levels and story modes. It's not going to go in perfect order, sorry about that. Um, some, some parts of it I think will be in order, because I basically did a full, very quick playthrough to get all this footage, but it won't all, all be in order. But anyway, basically the Magnum was never meant to be as powerful as it is. I'm pretty sure we all know that, but also that kind of gave Halo a reputation as the game with the really great pistol. 
Sorry about that, my phone went off in the background. Um, but yeah, no seriously, this Magnum, <laughs> also fun physics, but uh, also yeah, Hunter's got a major increase in difficulty in this game as well. Anyway, I'm sorry, in this version of the game. Anyway, yes, the Magnum was never supposed to be this damn good. Uh, I mean, at least, at least on the multiplayer. In the single player, it's pretty good. It can't take down anyone in one shot, not like the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition Magnum you can find in Halo 5's multiplayer. That thing is a tank and a beast in one. No, this Magnum is reliable and very, very, very good in close quarters. Here's just a quick bit of quick little multiplayer gameplay here. Um, this part I don't think will be showing up in my actual multiplayer review of the game. I just want to show some of it off right here. Not a whole ton of it, just just a little bit. Um, and I'll talk more about the I'll talk about the Magnum's multiplayer equivalent in this version of the game in the multiplayer review because that's something that's something that actually has changed since the original Halo game came out. Anyway, we're now back to campaign. Now, this game includes some of my favorite levels of all time, and my least favorite levels of all time. The Silent Heart Cartographer, this level, right here, is really, really, really annoying. And, honestly, one thing, my one real problem with the graphics in this game is that they're distractingly beautiful. You see, in Halo Combat Evolved, the original one, the graphics weren't super advanced. There wasn't a whole lot of detail where it didn't need to be. So, you know, control panels and whatnot stood out pretty clearly. I've spent about an hour looking for a control panel that I easily overlooked with high graphics like this one in the new version before switching it to this regular Combat of All 2001 edition graphics and fighting it instantly because it stood out against the very plain background. Basically, you can easily overlook important parts of the mission, and that's not a very good thing, but apart from that, the graphics are absolutely fantastic. Um, the physics are... they're... they're fun. They're not like I mean, Halo is number one for realistic physics. They're they're it's just like kind of like, kind of like burnout. They're realistic and they in the universe like they, they they work well for the Halo universe. I'll say that much. Just like Burnout Paradise works well for the Burnout Paradise universe. I mentioned that in my remastered edition Burnout Paradise review. Anyway, yeah. Um, the flood. In this game, I wouldn't call them terrifying, but they are definitely much creepier than they were in the original graphics version of 2001. Uh, also, you can get into a lot more places you shouldn't be able to due to the, uh, well, non-texture glitch I mentioned earlier with, the, with some of the walls being not actually there just due to the fact that it's a reskin. Um, yeah, also, the final, also, Halo was supposed to be about 40 levels, the original game Halo Combat Evolved was supposed to be about 40 levels, very short levels, but then got condensed into 10 rather long levels. I think most of my level playthroughs take about an hour. And unlike later games in the franchise, if you get lost, and you didn't, and you somehow missed the cutscene or whatever, didn't listen to the dialogue. Unless you look it up on the internet or you spend a lot of time looking around, you are fucked. This game's not exactly great on giving you instructions more than once, and sometimes not even that much. Like this little entrance to get into the cage right here, I spent about, five, about I, I reloaded the game maybe four or five times trying to kill all the uh, banshees. Because like, remember, I never played this game fully on the original Xbox. So I was I was born in 2002, a year after this, the original game of, this, of Combat Evolved came out. But, um, so I didn't really know this game that well until I played it, um, on the Xbox One. So I basically, out there in the snow, um, on the final level of the game, I, I, on one of the final levels of the game, I spent a lot of time looking around for the, uh, for control panels, couldn't find one, shooting all the tanks, stuff like that. But yeah, basically, it's a really, 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 really fun campaign mode. However, it's not Halo's greatest campaign mode, and not one I ever really want to come back to that much. I'll play it a lot, just for nostalgia reasons, um, and just for, just for some quick fun, especially with friends. But, um, there are definitely much better Halo campaigns out there. 2, 3, and 4, and especially 3 ODST with much better ones. Anyway, let's go on to the wrap-up of Part 1, shall we? Okay, so that was the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition campaign mode as seen in the Master Chief Collection version. And... It's pretty solid. As I said in the video, not my favorite Halo campaign mode. I don't revisit that often. But it's pretty fun. Like, I'd rather play three ODSTs campaign mode or fours, or even actually, actually, or two, or two anniversary definitely. But don't get me wrong, it's a great campaign mode, and for a way to start a franchise in a series, hell yeah, this is great. This is a brilliant launching point for the Halo series, and a brilliant launch title for the Xbox. One of the greatest launch titles of all time, in my opinion. In fact, I think I've mentioned that on my launch titles video I did a few months back. Anyway. I love Halo Combat Evolved's campaign mode, even if it isn't the greatest. However, as we see in the next part of the video, I really love, well, it's multiplayer mode.